Hi, this is Mona for Happy Doodle and I am super excited to be here with you. Today I am going to show you how I color these cute hedgehogs from the Will You Be My stem set in real time with Copic markers. I hope you keep watching this video because I have some tips and tricks for you. I started the card making process with the card base. I decided to use this piece from the Fancy Nancy frame dies. Run it three times through my die cut machine with a five and a half by four and a quarter inches Nina Solar White cardstock. When it was done, I picked the steady hard stencil, placed it on my die cutting plate, put on it the prepared card front, put on it the rubber embossing mat and plate, and run it through the die cut machine. Once it was done, I got a beautiful hard pattern dry embossed card front. Now it's time to stamp and color the images. I am going to use the Quill You Be Mine stamp set. These hedges are fabulous and I am going to show you how I will color them. For the stamping I have used the Jet Black Ink Pad by Lamfan. Before the coloring I gave a quick heat set to my images and this will prevent the ink smearing. When it was done, I run the images through my die cut machine and I am going to use my favorite way for coloring. I added the die cut images to a purple tape by Thermoweb and I am going to use these colors from the Earth Copic family. If you don't have these colors in your stash, don't worry, feel free to try your own combos. You can create an amazing look with simple lines like these. There is only one important thing. Start with the darkest color, then pick a lighter and finally the lightest. The result will be awesome. I will always show the actually used colors on the left side so you can follow easily. I am starting with my darkest color and finish with the lightest. I always do the same process twice to build up the image with more contrast. I am not going to speed up the coloring process because I know that many of you don't like it, but I am turning up a little music. I will be back soon. Enjoy the coloring.
When the coloring was done, I added white highlights with Signal Uniball white pen and let the images dry. Now it's time to prep the little scenes. For the background, I am going to use the Cloudy Sky stencil and I will start a quick ink blending through it. I am using the Blueprint Sketch and Salty Ocean to create nice and fluffy skies. Next, I run a green cardstock through the die cut machine with the Gracilas Buddha dies and made an ink blending on it too. This time, I have used the Lucky Clover and Twisted Citron Distress Oxide inks. After this, I stamp the sentiments with watermark ink to the colored cardstock. Then I heat embossed with white embossing powder. And now it's time to move on the seam building. This is my second favorite process in card making. I always love to play with the prepared die cuts. It's really fun and relaxing. And this is my finished card. I hope you have enjoyed my project. Please like this video and subscribe to Happy Doodles channel. As always you can find the used supplies below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Have an amazing day. Bye!